Hello everyone, Coach Steve here. I'm going to go over a little bit of our uh, standard four-step jump float serve. So you're going to do two hands, jump float serve, four steps. So we're going to go over, first of all, any uh, serve, you want to get into a basic routine. So we're going to go play the video. You can see the normal routine, maybe bounce the ball a couple few times. Do something that's unique to you or that you feel comfortable with that you can replicate over and over again. So very important to establish a routine. So let's just go over the first serve. So pretty basic, we're gonna go over it again. You can see the four steps. Nice flow serve, pop and stop. All right, so let's gonna break down the video a little bit. First, we have the routine. So you wanna start with your right foot first. We're gonna spotlight the steps first. So we're going to step just like we're walking. We're going to have the ball with our hands, with two hands, out in front, keeping a nice posture, our heads up. Our vision is looking up and around at the court so we can see the ball and we can see the toss. Our first right step is just going to be a nice little walking step, just like you're going for a nice walk. Second step also, first two steps are just nice little walking steps. So one, two, and then you're going to go three, four into a small step close. So you can see it kind of a small hop. It's a one, two walk, three, four step close. Now we don't want to step close and create a whole massive amount of energy. This is just to give us a little bit momentum. Not exactly the same as our jumping and hitting. This is just a small step close to get a little bit of our body straight up. And to get a little bit momentum so we're contacting the ball above us higher than we would on the ground and having some forward energy. Now main thing with our toss is with two hands, I like the two hands, it's not going to be super crazy high or super low. It's just going to be a nice easy toss. You can see the ball stays in the frame the whole time so it's only about two to three feet above her head. And it's a very nice little timing where you contact it out in front of you. So practice the toss. You can let the ball go without serving. You can practice your toss over and over again. But I like how it's two hands, very controlled over her right hitting shoulder. So you can see the ball here is still coming down over her right shoulder. So she has to go and attack it out front. So this is very important. So where you're, she's contacting, you can see the arm is bent in flat, so it's like a spatula. Her spine is straight, her back, everything is lined up very nice. Her eyes and vision is forward. Everything looks proper alignment, very upright, very in control. And you can see how she pops and stops her hand here. So just like a normal float serve, we want to pop and stop the hand. Nice float pop, wrist hand wide open. Let's see it again. So first two steps are walk, walk. Now you're tossing while you're hopping on those second steps. On that step close you're tossing and it's a nice easy toss. Get it at a high point and drive it as flat as possible. So four steps again, walk, walk, hop step, step close, keep it over your right shoulder. Nothing too crazy, not a high toss, not a low toss, just a medium toss, very in control. You can practice this toss over your, um, into a bucket or into a bag or into anything to get that toss. And the most important thing is the toss. So if you toss it too far to the left, the ball's going to go to the left. If you toss it too far to the right, the ball's going to go to the right. So... The most important thing is the consistency of this toss. You can see how the toss is lined up and she doesn't have to move her body. So everything is lined up really well. And she can push it pretty far and, and hit it pretty decently hard. Alright, so once the ball's in the air and you make contact, it's everything just like a normal float serve. You don't want to spike it. You don't want to hit with top spin. You want to have a nice, controlled, open hand, flush, pop, and stop with the arms. See how the hand's still 
in the air, not a follow through like a hit. So again, walk, walk, step close while we toss it medium height over our hitting shoulder, keeping our head up at the target, keeping our hand and hitting out in front of us, driving with our body, nothing too crazy. We're not max jumping here. We're just creating some forward momentum. Pop and stop your hand up. And then get to base. So hope this uh, demonstration was knowledgeable for you. And I hope to see you guys soon.